Iceland and the world of volcanology are waiting for the next eruption of the Swartzengi volcanic system. We don't see much earthquakes, but what it is, it is uh, concentrated around the area of the Swartzengi, too slightly toward the uh, Fagadesville. There is not much earthquake, it's flat relatively. We have but the movement of the magma to under the Swartzengi continuing. The inflation is continuing. Of course, we have a storm. Uh, the latest data probably is not as reliable as should be because of the weather uh, rising and up. You know, the air pressure may affect that. But anyway, we can see that there is something happening under the Swartzengi. We have magma accumulation toward the west and uh, Rift Valley to toward the east. Uh, and we see that... Uh, uh, depth of the earthquakes are now around 7 to 5 kilometers. Uh, this reservoir under the sourcing practically works like a bladder. Uh, we call it as a tap, but it's more like a bladder. You have to fill up the pores of the rocks and then empty it uh, when it flows laterally. We are near the new moon. Will it affect it, the tectonic movements? The flexure of it, we have to wait and see. But this is not anymore a subject of the academic snobbery. We know that uh, researchers who are competent in geology and uh, celestial mechanics and the thermodynamics are studying these processes. There are many papers on this subject. Of course, not any magma movement will end up in eruption, but if it does, it will look like something like this. How we know the eruption has started? This is the Reckoness Peninsula and this is the Swartzengi volcanic system that we are talking about. You see a cluster of the earthquakes appearing concentrated in a certain area, in this case near the Swartzengi uh, volcanic system. Before that, you see just waves of the earthquakes appearing on the chart, then a huge cluster, and they're intense, very close up to magnitude uh, 3 in the Richter scale, you see the wave coming, the tremors, and uh, on the chart you see them sudden rise in the tremors. That was uh, December 23, this is the January, and this is the February eruption, as you can see. We have a high rise, sudden rise in the tremors, which shows the eruption have started. This is the moment that the earthquakes suddenly increase. This is breaking through the surface, cracking the rocks, pulverizing them, making way for the magma to erupt. And the moment that it happens, the pressure is relieved. You will see the gases volatile inside the magma actually coming to the surface, pushing the magma upward, creating lava. You see at the depth, bubbles rising. This is the crushing moment that happens. Then what happens is that the uh, magma reaches the surface area with the lowest pressure and a bang. monitor the situation by looking at the MBL Iceland and the RUV Iceland uh, live on the camera and just see how it happens in real time. I recommend that you, you do that. Of course, you could say that you don't need any of these geophysics. You can just look at the cameras and you will see it.